Hi, and welcome to Chef's Review Q&A. Today I want to answer your questions I found on the internet in regards to grills. Uh, on my workbench today is a product from Royal Catering. It's a 60 centimeter flat top grill. Uh, so first, before I go to the questions, uh, let me go few, uh, over some technical data. So the grill works uh, with two times 3.2 kilowatts of power. Uh, why is that? Because it is, the surface is divided into two. So you have two controls, two sides, and they're both powered individually. So you have individual power uh, plugs that you can put into the uh, socket. Um, if it comes to the socket, just remember, um, usually the, you know, the sockets on 230 volts, they work with maximum 3.5 kilowatts. So uh, just remember to put the grill on two different circuits, otherwise you may have problems with your safeties and they're going to trip all the time. So that's one uh, way to avoid it, just put on two different circuits. Um, if it comes to dimensions, you have 60 centimeters across. 52 centimeters in depth and 28 centimeters in height. Uh, everything is made of stainless steel. Uh, the color has about 8 centimeters of height. All right, so let me just go over to the questions. So one of the most frequently asked questions is about the materials used, uh, especially for the hot plate. So the hot plate is made of high carbon uh, stainless steel uh, alloy. So it combines kind of uh, features of both stainless steel and high carbon, so just like cast iron. So uh, what it means for you? Well, first of all, it's scratch resistant. Um, uh, that's the stainless part. Uh, it makes the steel really hard and uh, you don't need to worry about scratching, scouring or anything while cleaning. Uh, of course, uh, like cast iron, it heats up really well and accumulates the temperature. So if you work with a cast iron pan, you know, once you heat it up, it will stay hot for a very long time. So it is with uh, this surface. Uh, the plate is about one centimeter thick. Uh, so it is uh, quite nice like, you know, and heavy, so it will conduct its temperature really well and distribute it really evenly for really uniform and uh, well uh, grill results. Um, so one downside to it, or actually not downside, it's actually a basic feature, uh, well it comes with the ter territory, so if it's high carbon content it is prone to uh, corrosion. So when you clean it, always use a caustic agent. Afterwards, when you uh, stabilize the caustic agent with some acid, like for example a vinegar solution, uh, always make sure you rinse it properly with some water, you dry it properly with a paper towel or a cloth, and afterwards just impregnate it with some uh, grease or fat. Uh, the same oil you use for frying, basically, you know, for grilling as well. So just make sure you rub it in, and this surface will hold for ages. People were asking how long it takes for the grill to heat up to work temperature. Well, that's a very relative question uh, and there's no uh, simple answer to, uh, for that. Uh, basically, it all depends. First of all, on the temperature of the grill, uh, your starting temperature. Uh, of course, it depends on uh, what you mean by your work temperature. Um, basically, uh, when you turn it on in room temperature in order to get to 140, 150 degrees, which you basically can start grilling, and that will be around 10 to 12 minutes. So it's really quickly, it is a really powerful device, uh, the 3.2 kilowatts of power for each side uh, do the job. All right, uh, another one. Uh, what's the temperature range on this one? So I mentioned uh, that uh, both of the heat plates are ste being steered individually, controlled individually. So there's two knobs, they double as a on and off switch. So once you have it plugged in, if you turn it down to zero, uh, they will shut down. Uh, and you can turn it up between 50 and 300 degrees and the 300 degrees is the maximum temperature for that grill. All right. Next question is about the oil draining system. So how it works, it's very simple, basically on the very bottom of the heating plate there is a trough collecting all the excess, uh, excess juices and oil. It flows down through that hole and it is collected by this drawer. The drawer is made of stainless steel, you can take it out for cleaning. Uh, of course, because it's stainless steel, you can just pop it in a dishwasher, give it a run or two to have it properly sanitized. Uh, the capacity of this drawer is about one litre, so that's absolutely enough even for uh, intensive traffic. Uh, from my own experience, I know I used to uh, change it up 
try, I mean, uh, clean it out uh, once per day uh, on busy, busy times, twice per day, and of course, every time after service. Uh, so you need to check it, but well, uh, just remember the whole device is really hot, so whatever leaks down uh, to, to in the, the drawer will evaporate eventually. So once a day, sometimes twice, or just check it and you figure it out. You're the expert, right? Okay, so these are all my questions. I hope I answered them all uh, in full. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.